Welcome to another episode of the Tribute Lounge. I'm Mark Fawcett, and today we're going to be talking about base conditioning, taking care of your snowboard base, waxing, whatever you want to call it. Um, essentially, PTEX is a simple plastic. It's not porous like leather, etc. It does not absorb wax. Big misconception there. Um, you can apply wax on it. It will fill in micro fissures and little spots within uh, its surface. The biggest reason we wax is actually for uh, removal of micro hairs or micro tearing of the plastic. That's the slowest thing you can have on your base is exposed, um, we call it fur. Sometimes it's so fine it looks uh, like freezer burn. Very and most often uh, along the edges around the feet um, and there are some ways to get rid of it waxing itself is probably the best way if you wax properly so you want to have your your base very clean to start with if there's old wax on there scrape it off all of it um, you can use a paper towel or a very clean cloth to wipe away any excess wax shavings etc the next thing you want to do if you have a brush of sorts, this is one of the ways that you can um, somewhat exfoliate um, the fur off of your base. So using a specific um, ski or snowboard wax brush, um, they're kind of expensive, <laughs> but they work really well. Um, most of them are either a very hard nylon, firm nylon, or uh, even a brass brass brushes. I prefer the brass brushes to actually get in there and, and get the job done. So if you're brushing it, you should um, use the brush in one direction, um, i.e. some of them even have an arrow on them, just so that you don't um, bend and warp the bristles back and forth all over the place. Kind of have a brush that's going in one direction. There's no rules on forward or backward to get rid of the freezer burn. You can go tail to tip. Uh, it's the same thing as shaving your face um, against the grain or with the grain. Whatever's working best to try and remove that hazy fur uh, from the sides or all over the base of your board. For the actual waxing, you're gonna take your warm plugged in iron um, if you have a thermometer or a, a setting in there, it's kind of medium-ish. Um, some of them do have like the actual temps in there. And often the wax box will even tell you what temperature to run it at. It's somewhere thereabouts of 200 degrees. Um, you don't want to touch a bare hot iron on bare P-Tex. You can melt it. Anyway, drip phase. I go, I put it at an angle so I can have a nice little corner. And I am a fan of dripping pretty close to the edge, doing a perimeter. You want almost a continuous line, a lot of dots or a continuous line. Then I do slalom back and forth just to get some wax all around for the middle. And then you just iron it in don't want to push down too hard. If you can, just use the weight of the iron and let it melt the drips and out the back side. It should come out as a nice, clean, waxed surface. A lot of techs will tell you, keep the iron straight. Don't wax across, particularly by the edges, because you can score. Um, and put scratches in the bottom of your iron and then you're going to scratch your whole P-Tex up. So they're pretty adamant about waxing with the iron in a linear, linear position the whole time. Scrapers. You don't want to shave your face with a dull razor. You don't want to scrape your board with a dull scraper. Uh, two reasons. One, it's slow as hell and just a pain in the ass with the dull scraper. But two, a sharp scraper actually helps with the conditioning of P-Tex. So when you uh, when you apply the hot wax um, and you let it cool a little bit, it doesn't have to be stone cold or room temperature. You can scrape it while it's a bit warm. 
you can kind of put some of these micro hairs in a state of, of uh, flotation. And then when you come through with the scraper, uh, a nice sharp scraper, it's going to cut and break a lot of them off. And a lot of them end up, um, you'll, you'll see if you have a black base and you're using a light colored wax and you've scraped, you'll see some coloration in your, uh, in your wax scrapings. And that's the micro fur. It's not big chunks of your P-Tex plastic. Don't worry about that. For the most part, most of the techs will tell you uh, to push. So you're going to have the scraper angled slightly back and you're going to give it oh so little bit of bend with the thumbs. So your fingers are on the front and your thumbs are on the back. Pretty much keep it dead straight if you can, but if, it's, if the contact surface isn't grabbing really well, you can give it the tiniest little bend and you're going to push the wax off. Areas around the tail and tip and if you're in a parking lot or not, don't have yourself set up in a nice environment, you can give it a you know give it a scrape or a pull, uh, etc. But the best way for sure is you want it uh, room temperature or warmer. Good environment where you can give a good push on it and you're shaving your P-Tex. As far as wax goes, lots of different options out there. Of course, um, uh, temperature different temperature waxes, and essentially it's a it's a hardness factor. So you'll Fines is made for cold temperatures are a lot harder. They're often a blue or green color just to color code it for you. And uh, red, for instance, is almost always a warm wax, much softer, and it's going to give you a little bit better uh, watershed from uh, those warm temps. Uh, anything above minus 12, you're actually riding on a slight glaze of water, unless you're going unbelievably slow. And you can look back and often see that glaze in the snow from like the pressure you've created down um, and then the friction forward and you're riding essentially on water. Below minus 12, those rules start to sort of fade and dissipate and thus the harder waxes. Uh, and even that much more important to uh, have your base in good condition. So when it gets really, really cold, you'll notice it you be getting, feeling sticky. Um, and the, better shape your base is in, the, of course, the faster it's going to glide. Uh, and then, of course, waxes, you can go super tech and buy some different different styles of race wax. Swix, of course, Toco, big, big uh, ski brands. There's no difference between ski wax and snowboard wax. It's all the same stuff. Uh, snowboard bases are an identical material as a ski base, just wider. If your base is... Um, in really rough shape, big scars and nicks and scratches, it is likely going to need um, a little bit more TLC. That's for sure when you want to bring it into the shop. We have different um, plastic welding materials and techniques to fill those in, clean them up, and have your board working as good as when you got it the first time. Enjoy your riding out there. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the button that is somewhere around here. Take care.